Hi nerds, um, it's editing Roxanne right now. Um, before the video starts, I would like to put in a trigger warning um, for suicide. There is a little scene, it, it's not much, but it still can trigger some, so I'm going to um, block out the image. Um, but I, there, there still is mention of it too. Like you read, there's an article that gets read about, um, the person who did it. So I'm going to just put a trigger warning in case that's, you know, sensitive information or topic for you guys. Um, I try to make sure that my videos are fun for everybody, <laughs> at least if I can. Um, so I'll do my best. Um, I'm also going to put a timestamp when that happen so in case you do watch the video you can just go ahead and skip that to where you would be safe to continue enjoying so yeah thank you for letting me uh let you guys know and enjoy the video welcome back my nerds to the crooked man last episode we finished off scene two of the julius school law school i believe that's what it was um we found out that David failed his pilot exam um, just because he was colorblind. And because he was colorblind and he really wanted to be a pilot, um, he kind of faked his way into uh, getting, one, getting into the school, and two, like, he became an honor student, I believe. Um, but yeah, when he was taking his exam, he failed it because they found out he was colorblind. Um, which inspired Dee to, you know, rethink some life choices. Um, and they had, a, they had a sweet moment, which I love that. Like, I love that after all of this chaos that is going on, they have these, like, sweet, touchy moments. Um, we did fight the Crooked Man again with a pipe. Failed a couple times. We don't need to talk about that, though. Um, and we know Gary will be back. <laughs> if you don't know, we named the Crooked Man Gary out of fear. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, before I jump into the episode, I would like to give a shout out to Banana Sparkles. I do agree that this game is both cute and scary at the same time. Thank you for commenting. We appreciate that. So, yeah. Um, let's just jump into it. We're at a hospital now. <laughs> An abandoned hospital at that. I'd like to leave now, please. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, and I forgot. Um, I say this at every episode. Just for you guys to be aware, um, I don't handle horror games well. So when there are jump scares and scary things, I do scream. <laughs> so uh, as much as I try to limit that, it never happens. Um, and another thing is I do have a walkthrough because this game gets kind of like, where do I go next? But I will try to not use it because it does make it fun. And the walkthrough does not have spoilers, so that's even better. All right, let's do it. Oh, no, we have options to go into things. There's nothing inside. I don't. Can I close it? Oh, God. It's locked. I wonder if there's anything inside. It's a simple lock, so maybe I could get it open without a key. Okay, well, so we'll need a weapon. I don't like that those are open now. Carver box. It says less than found on top. Can I open the box? That would be nice. Copy machine. Okay. They just, oh, yep, they're just open now. Awesome. The door to the outpatient clinic, it has a number lock. Okay. I am going to get lost so many times in this. Okay. That helps. It's locked. Why are these places locked even? abandoned like oh no oh no oh no oh no I don't like this <laughs> there's dark red writing on the bed like I didn't save do not mourn them do not avert your eyes it is happier for them I have saved them what does that mean them who's them I close it. Oh, I don't like this. <sighs> My heart, like, I, I'm not scared of hospitals, like, in real life, but there's just something about, like, horror in hospitals that it's a great setting, and it freaks me out, so. 
cool. I don't like that. I don't like that there's a thing. I feel like we're gonna run into somebody other than the crooked man. A book. Let's read the book. If I can stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching, or cool one pain, or help one fainting robin onto his nest again. I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Oh, cool. We had an achievement. Sweet. So this must be the cafeteria. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Why did you shake? Why did you shake? David stopped and shook for a sec. Why did you shake? There was nothing there. Oh, yum. Throw up. Some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. It's locked. I don't like this. I was fine in the school. I don't know why. But this is a whole other creepy. Okay, well, there's nowhere else to go. Right, maybe we gotta go back downstairs. Oh, I thought the blood was gone. I was like, oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm scared. Where do I go? I don't already want to go through the walkthrough. Not operationally, but it seems to be stopped on the fourth floor. Okay. Okay, hold on. Wait, did we get anything in our inventory? Uh, nothing that I can see. Alright, hold on. I have it on standby. Okay. What? Okay, so we gotta go back to here. And we have to go in here. A key box locked with a passcode. Uh, lock it from the hit the middle square, then each of the four corners to open it. Okay. Oh yeah, I was not gonna figure that out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Got the cafeteria key. Got an elevator key, trunk key. Okay. What do either of those mean? Whoa. Mm, okay, so the second floor has the dining rooms. Or I'm assuming that they mean the cafeteria. So we can try going there first. Because I don't know what to do with the elevator key okay yep okay awesome empty cans why 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 no 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 okay you know what we are going to wait what Okay, the can is rolling on the ground. Something fell out. Got a small wire. Oh, can I use that to open the... The locker? Because if it's a simple lock, you can, like... Do the ding. And open the lock. Let's try. Oh. Oh, never mind. I'll lock it with the wire. Sweet. What's in here? Got a note about a locker number. Or a number lock. What? Okay. It reads 4489. Okay. Oh, um. Is that the code we need? Wait, I'm going to write that down. Why, why did I get out when I was like, I need to write it down? Okay. 4489. Four, okay. Oh, 
Well, this is the only thing that I can think of that we've seen that has the number lock. Maybe not. Okay. Um, there's like nowhere else to go except for this. I don't want to go back in there. Hello, walk through. What am I doing? I already did that. See, I'm jumping ahead of this walk through, apparently. Uh, okay, so now we're on the third floor? No, this is the third floor. This is the this is the third floor. Okay. Um Okay. Oh wait, we already did that. Okay. We're supposed to find a cat. <gasps> oh no. I thought the cat was going to be alive. No! Dead animals? Were these its kittens? Were they cut out of its stomach? Who could have... Oh, Poor thing. I can't look. Why would you do this? Wait, there's something in there. Don't. Ooh. Uh, okay, we gotta take it. We gotta take it. Ugh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Got a bloody key. I have my own babies. Staying with cat blood. Can't read the tag. Awesome. I'm not opening those. Um, I guess we just got to try it out. Nope. These are painted. Painted. Uh, there was, I think, one on the fourth floor that was just locked. Maybe we can do that. That was not the key. Um. Hmm. What? I can go in here? <sighs> I don't like this. Who? No, there was somebody in the chair. Found a scrap from a notebook. Okay. Well, you got to say, dude. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What could I... Ha what have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But is he still here now? <sighs> Is there something in the drawer? Is there something in these ones? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Okay. Um. Okay. Sorry. I. Wait. I'm supposed to. Oh. And then I can go in here. Oh. Okay. I got an AED. What does that even mean? Okay. Mm, I don't like that. Why do they make this one so creepy? I don't know. Can I go in the elevator now at all times? Okay. Okay. What's with the singing? Is there someone on the floor? Nobody's singing. What? Why is there a kid here? <sighs> oh my god. I don't like this. I don't like that. I'm sorry. I was off mic, but I don't like this at all. Why is there a kid here? Why? Why? <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help, I need an adult. <laughs> what are you doing here? Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? 
Or, hmm. Are you mute, perhaps? You were hearing him sing. Mama said not to talk to strangers. Ah, well, then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old. I live kind of far from here. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. Oh, I like baseball, too. Mama give me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I'm jealous. Hey, so what's your name, little guy? Fluffy. Fluffy? That's your name? <laughs> yeah. Mama said my hair is fluffy like a towel. So fluffy. I see. Where is your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama. Then she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing. But well, Mama hasn't come back. Oh, my gosh. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to school, but you can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. Right. You're really something to have waited here all alone. Great, a kid lost at, l at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey, Fluffy. It's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Okay, let's go. No. What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman show you a patrol car. Don't you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy. Oh. Better give chase, I guess. And again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to be questioned by the sheriff anyways. I'll take him to the sheriff if I see him again. Fluffy could be in danger. Oh, that's the deck, yes. Okay. Okay, so now we can go downstairs. Probably. Just casually, like, yeah, if I see the kid, I'll do something about it. But if not... Oh, I wonder if we can get into that room now. Oh. An automatic external defibrillator has only a little battery left. That's what it means. Um, I can't think of what. Okay, let's see if we can go in. Because we have a code. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is this lock battery operated? It's not working. So the batteries must be dead. Well, the place is abandoned. But I have the the thing. Automatic figure. The battery shows it's about half charged. Opened the lid and took out the battery. Oh. And then I used the battery? Oh, maybe I have to just click on the door again. Put the battery. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, I wrote down what it was. Um, I hope that's the one it was. Four, four, eight, nine. Yeah, there we go. Making some progress here, walking there. Um, why are those stairs so ominous looking? Whoa, we got some shiny things. Cabinet is locked. Something on the desk. Is it the key to the cabinet? Oh, got the key to the counseling room. But I want to dig. I don't want to go up those stairs. Locked safe. Diary probably written by the director. I received a puzzle box on the other day. Rather interesting thing. To open it, you'll have to arrange letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made the key word my favorite word. The irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable! When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. But what's inside isn't really something you use every day, so it's not a huge deal. She actually gave me a hint on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe when I have time. Just grab a paper with hints. Okay, maybe we should look at them. 
Whoa, flowers are nice. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. The nurses know. Get close to the sky. None of that is helpful. Oh, there's flowers in here. Maybe. Still pretty flowers. They seem artificial. Oh, hey, sweet. Oh, there's something in the vase. A piece. Got a Y piece. Do I put it in the box or do I wait? A wooden box. There are six. Okay. So, oh, I should get all six pieces first. Otherwise, I don't, I won't know how to arrange them. Okay. Cool. That's an elevator. I don't want to go up here, but I'm going to go up here. Uh, this place is so creepy. Oh! Fluffy? There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off here alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not going to cry like some baby. Wow, you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're as brave as Captain America. I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone here I could depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff's off it is. Okay. Oh, I got a little, I got a little fluff. I got a fluffy boy. What's this stuff? What's this stuff? I don't really know either. <laughs> oh God, he's gonna ask everything. I see that. Okay, there is nothing else. Okay. Well, cool. Now I have a little, little partner in crime. Whoa. Why is this place so big? Okay, emergency stairs. Whoa. Oh, there's a bulletin board. There are things posted on the board, but they're too messy to read. Okay. This place is... I mean, it's a hospital, so that makes sense. But dang, this place is huge. Okay, let's go up. Public phone. It looks like there's something in the change slot. <gasps> we got a piece. Keyhole. What is that? The model of an ember. Oh my god. A baby? <laughs> it looks like a monkey. Oh, well, babies are kind of like that. Small shops. There's something there. I got a small key. What are these keys for? Okay. Let's see. Small key. Not sure what to use. Oh, we got. We did get the council room paper. Okay, so we got the flowers. So we need to look for a sink. We need to go to the cafeteria. We got the phone. The nurses know might be the reception desk. Get close to the sky. I don't know where that would be. Okay. So many things. How do I go downstairs? How do we go downstairs? I have little fluffers with me. Okay, let's try over here. Well, maybe not. Okay. Well, I was wrong about that. We're just going to go to the counseling room. Oh, uh, no. Where was it? I think it's on the third floor. He's doing a little like we day room. No, that's not it. Maybe it's the fourth floor. Counseling room. Okay, cool. I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to open it. Okay. Oh, I didn't even notice the people. <laughs> I I saw them flash away, and that's when I was like, oh, I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? What's up, Mr. David? It's it's nothing. Empty trash. Broken old refrigerator. What is the point of the oh? Okay. Twelve three. Three thirty-five PM. Tape fifteen. Subject visitor A. Okay. I'm gonna write room four oh nine because I already know I'm gonna forget that room. Okay. Context. 
A visitor af a visited after sudden change in the patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identi identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient still thinks herself healthy, which causes A, a great deal of distress. Her memories of A are also vague, a sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it is it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Oh, okay. Tape 16. A, vis a visit, oh, I get it. A visited after the patient's death. He laminated that, given she was going to die. He couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in itself is not happy, so if life is agony, then wait, wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately, I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What is that? A storybook? No, it, it's not. There's a key in the diary. Oh. Psyche. I don't want to go in that. Uh, I don't know where the psychiatric thing is. It's got to be somewhere here, right? Three painted key, painted key. Have we seen the psychiatric? I don't think we have. Maybe we can look back at the map. Eh, my eye. Ah, I'm itching my eye. Stop, David. Okay, let's go see if we can find it on the map. So much to do. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> um, but I do see the nursing station, so maybe we can go in there and get the puzzle piece. Cause I feel like we're gonna need whatever's in that box. Uh, what's this? An array of nurse call lights. Some sort of equipment. Oh, maybe the box. Oh, I'm gonna look inside. We got the eyepiece. Let's go. All right. What else do we need? Uh, I haven't seen a bathroom or anything. Oh, we didn't go to the cab. I didn't go to the cafeteria. No. Okay. Get close to the sky. I don't. Still don't know what that means. Okay. Well, we're finding. Oh wait. We can go down. Fluffy, don't sing that. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little, a crooked little house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah. Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing ta a lot, and I like that song. I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? It just felt like a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I don't get it, mister, but sorry for singing a sad song. Er, er, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing too, David? <laughs> no, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh. The door mat is faded and it's hard to read. It won't open. Okay, well. Fluffy, definitely a great singer. Pediatrics, surgical, ENT. One's bathroom, the lock is busted. What is this? Oh, wait. Sink? Oh, never mind. <laughs> is there sink? I mean, I would think there'd be sinks so they could wash their hands. Stairs. 
Okay, maybe one more. I feel like it's here somewhere. Oh, men's bathroom. Let's see. Uh, yeah. I think it's all gonna be. Oh, this is different. Um. Okay. Uh, door locked with a three-digit code. Seems to be leading to the emergency stairs. Uh, I don't know where to go. Oh, hey, there's another floor. Oh, we didn't go to this floor. Radiology. There's a piece of paper. Can you read it? My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. Oh, jeez. Neurology. Psychiatric. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. I'm going to... I'm going to have to put in a note. Hold on. I need to make a note. Okay. That way I don't want people to feel uncomfortable. John Smith is dead. It appears he hung himself. I was no help at all, it seems. All I got in the end was his suicide note. There was a letter placed in the diary. It appears to be the patient's suicide note. It's chasing me. No matter where I go, I can't ever escape, so I've decided to die. But I realize it's grinning. In fact, it's grinning behind me now. It's been waiting for me to do this. This is what it was chasing me for, but now I'll be free from it. Doctor, please take care. It might start to follow you next. There's no point in running, because it's always at someone's back. Goodbye. Thank you for everything, Doctor. You were the one, only one who showed sympathy. Oh my gosh. There's a memo on the bulletin board. Oh, I think these are, this is a code? One moment. We gonna write it down. Bed. You know, I just realized I could have probably taken a picture with my phone, but you know what? It's not the same tree-ish. Board. I don't know what any of that means. What's that? Was someone doodling? Hmm? What's this deciphering? And what are these numbers for? Oh, well, we can't go talk to the fridge, I guess. Uh, the only three numbers I know of is the stairs. So I'm going to try that. Oh, no. Maybe it's on the other floor. Bathroom. Men's bathroom. Can I take the fire extinguisher? Oh! <gasps> bathroom sink! Somehow the faucet works! Way thirsty. Can I have a drink? N no way. This water's no good. What? There's no... But... But what about... To oh, she's a girl. She'd probably go in the... Do you have to go potty? Um, let's see if the girls' bathroom we can get into. Bathroom sinks, some of the faucets work. Hey, there's something over there. Huh? Hey, you're right. Something's stuck in the drain. Got an A piece. Okay. Mr. David, I gotta go pee. Huh? Oh, okay. I guess this is the girls' room, so you t should technically go in the boys' ones. Not sure if it'll, if it'll flush, though. Okay, I'll wait here. You can go in by yourself, right? Yeah, I'll be good. <laughs> hey, Fluffy. You okay in there? I'm peeing. Hold on. Huh? What is it, Fluffy? Come out already. It's locked. Hey. I can't open the door. What? Uh-oh. 
it it really won't open. Did the door just break or what? I haven't saved. Something better not attack me. Mr. David, I can't get out. Am I going to be stuck here forever? It's okay, Fluffy. I'll get you out right away. Just give me a sec. Okay. Well, my fellow nerds, we are going to save the... I love that there's a fluffers next to us. We're going to save there and I'm going to end the video here. I've been making these videos a little bit longer, but that's mainly because I've been enjoying it <laughs> a little bit too and just kind of progressing the story. So, yeah. Um, not much to say. I do. I, it's kind of weird that there's a kid in a hospital by himself. Um, so that's a little suspicious. This, this one is scaring me a little bit more than the other two. I don't know what it is with hospitals, but I feel like this one's bigger and you don't know what's going to pop out at you. Um, nicely enough, I haven't had to use the walkthrough yet, which will probably be my downfall. We'll probably have to use it next episode. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you guys feel up to it, press that subscribe button. It does help out the channel a lot. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day and remember, stay nerdy. Thank you.